get your ass on, boy. Gentlemen, let's get down to business. I was bored one day, twiddling my fingers, when I felt this sudden urge hit my body. It felt like I was being controlled by something, possessed even. When I came to, I noticed my browser was on a website called Tubi, and there was this ominous black screen, almost like I had to press play to fix it. But before I could even do that, my first thought was, wait a minute, is that Michael Jackson? <laughs> so, that... I of course had to watch it. After all, I am a huge MJ fan. I actually own Michael Jackson's This Is It on CD and Michael Jackson's number one hits, which came in a DVD box instead of a CD box. But yeah, I'm not sure why it's in a DVD case. Um, <laughs> Miss Castaway and the Island Girls has to be one of the worst movies I have ever seen. I would rather chew through a barbed wire fence than have to watch this movie again. And it has Michael Jackson in it, my hero. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm a YouTuber, so watching things more than once in pure agony for the entertainment of others, it's kinda in my job description. All right, so let's... All right, so let's speed through all the formalities, shall we? Directed by Michael Brian Stoller, Miss Castaway and the Island Girls, also known as Miss Castaway, was rebranded as Silly Movie 2 in 2008. The mere fact that they thought that Silly Movie 2 was gonna be a better fix to Miss Castaway is beyond me. They tried to make a scary movie knockoff, and it just, it just didn't work. I like your head. <laughs> wow. The movie is about these models who get stranded on a desert island with the world's horniest grandpa. If you don't want to be alone tonight, don't even think about it. And the creepiest animated dodo bird I've ever seen. I, like, I hate this dude so much. I'll be right here. Oh, no. We think you should go. Oh. Also, apparently Noah's Ark is on this island and it's, it's being taken over by, by apes. We're taking over the arc, old man. We don't need you to run things anymore. Now the movie is supposed to be low budget on purpose because, you know, 230p movies was what was hot back in the early 2000s. All right, guys, welcome to my beginner's programming tutorial. We're gonna create a simple program. All right, first we're gonna type in yeah. public class program. Yeah, this is fine. So yes, the movie is bad on purpose, but the movie is also bad at being bad on purpose. Like it's not even bad in a ha ha funny kind of way. It's just horrible, which begs the question, how the heck did they get Michael Jackson to feature in this film, bro? And why does Tubi have a consistent reputation of hosting bad movies? I don't get it. I read on Wikipedia that the budget for this movie was around two million. That entire two mil had to have gone straight into Michael Jackson's bank account. And if that's true, that would probably be one of the dumbest investments anyone could have ever made, bro. Also, I found this interesting too, that this movie was actually Michael Jackson's last movie before he passed away, bro. So he, I don't even think he even had a chance to watch this. Join me as I walk you through one of the worst experiences you will ever have in your entire life. Well, I mean, I guess besides, I don't know, like your girl telling you that she's pregnant. Um, why is it zooming in so much? I'm not quite sure how much I like this movie. It's not really my cup of tea. I don't think this movie was anyone's cup of tea. Now, Miss Castaway can only be categorized as a parody movie gone wrong for a few reasons. See, unlike the movies that Miss Castaway and the Island Girls was trying to be- They got the file! Yo. What's up? <laughs> it just wasn't funny in the way that, you know, you would have hoped. It was nice to meet you both. And I'm not trying to be the funny police, but you know how like you could like hear a joke and it might not make you laugh in particular, but you can at least acknowledge, okay, I can see how someone else would find that funny. With this movie, I struggle to see how anyone else could find this movie funny. It was like watching a comedian with no sense of humor try to tell a joke. You cannot have sex for six weeks. You got it? Six weeks, no sex. I was like, okay. Um, hey, remember when you just... Uh, wolverined my fupa open? <laughs> Remember that? How about six years? <laughs> I think I'll be ready, okay? It was painful, bro. The Scary Movie franchise has always had me dying of laughter at almost every turn. Excuse me, Heather, Heather, oh, can you tell us oh, what you're feeling, honey? Lots of pain. Gail, please help me. Gail, please. I'd like to help you out, but it's sweet. 
With Scary Movie, nothing felt rushed just to get the joke off. And I think that's the beauty of Scary Movie. In fact, I would argue that it made the jokes hit even harder. With Miss Castaway, almost everything feels rushed to crack off a joke that lacks any sort of synergy or creativity. There are characters that actually serve no actual purpose to the story. Case in point, the movie starts off with these adventurers in this distant jungle when they come across, wait for it, Noah's Ark. This movie is so poorly put together that I don't even remember what the actual point of why Noah's Ark was even there to begin with. And I watched the movie three times. Three times! They stumble across the Ark and guess what they phone their discovery to? You're going the right way for a smack bottom and I don't know who knows it. Hello? Austin freaking Powers. You know the Mojo guy from the movie with the the, the pinky villain and, and the mini me. Ah! Oh. Assassin! Now watch this. Austin Powers literally shows up one other time in this movie, and we never hear from him ever again. Crikey! I've lost my mojo. It just feels like the director put him there just to put him there to be like, yo, awesome powers is in my movie. Shock value. I don't know. When I first saw it, I was surprised like, oh shoot, that's kind of funny or not even funny. That's just kind of strange. But it had me thinking that like, okay, so the entire mission is like led by Austin Powers. I was completely wrong. And this isn't the movie's first cardinal sin. Nay. It gets much worse from here. The only thing that I can find funny about this is that they really got away with this movie. Not in the sense that people actually somewhat enjoyed it or whatever. No, they, people actually really hate the movie. But they got away with it in the sense that they were able to get Michael Jackson on this crap. Okay, that I have to figure out. <laughs> Jurassic Pork. <laughs> Corny. Listen, anything you can think of that would make a movie bad if it had it in it, this pretty much checks all the boxes. Low quality PNGs for background, poor green screen techniques, bad acting, bad storytelling techniques. Honestly, with a track record like this, the director, Michael, he might as well have just become a YouTuber. Because then with all these mistakes, people could just chalk it up to, oh, it's just an average YouTube video. <laughs> wow, that hurt. I actually feel sort of offended. And and I wrote this. <laughs> There's also no proper transitions between cuts within these scenes, so characters just seem to spawn into frame out of thin air. And they love to do this with characters that we haven't been introduced to yet. They just happen to exist just out of nowhere. One thing I can say though is that they at least try to follow scary movies formula. And when I say that, I mean they will take common phrases and then play them out in a literal sense in the movies. This package just arrived and it's got your name all over it. Thanks, Julie. The main character that everyone has extreme lack of faith in. You are such a dweeb. Hey, Cindy, think fast. Oh. Oh. Dude, you suck. Ow. Random occurrences that are supposed to be references to other movies or pop culture. Name, cappuccino, like the drink. Lying is very safe, really. What exactly was the joke? The joke was just in the reference. The reference doesn't even tie into like any other part of why they're on the plane or nothing like that. Miss Castaway is just a yap fest of people doing random things for no good reason. You think so? Cliches that could have honestly have worked if someone else was directing it. <sighs> Sorry, little guy. It's the only redeeming factor is that I get to look at beautiful women for an hour straight. I'm also not a prude, okay? I can enjoy poor CGI. Poor photoshops are funny too, but when it looks like this and it's just done with zero class, zero etiquette, no sauce, no finesse, I don't stand for it, I'm sorry. It makes me cringe harder than watching TikTokers try to risk up random girls on the street and fail miserably. Excuse me, my lady. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, have a good one. This movie literally had me begging that my internet would go out so I wouldn't have to watch the rest of the movie. Then my internet actually went out and I realized that I, I sort of need it. Without it, I, I, I don't have a video, so bills were paid. You Comcast. By the time Michael Jackson showed up, I was just so exhausted and confused. All I could really think in my head at the time was, how many how many ounces of lighter fluid would it take for it to be a lethal enough dose to get me out of watching this movie? Now, Michael Jackson's scenes were so short-lived. He only really served as an exposition dump and in nothing more. Would have loved to see him play a bigger role, considering his face is on the actual movie poster. This was clickbait before clickbait was even really a thing. Well, I mean, I guess technically it's not clickbait, but it's false advertisement 
something at the very least. That would be like if there was a movie with a poster of Batman and Superman, but then when you go to the actual movies, it's only like a three second frame of Superman zipping past the screen as he's flying. I felt absolutely scammed out of my time consuming this junk. So yeah, the movie's horrible, but don't just take my word for it. <laughs> There is no word that can explain how horrible this movie is. So very, very bad. Ow! And not in a good way. Absolutely horrible. Another reason to pity Michael Jackson. Oh my god. It sucks. Just a bunch of random subplots. Could win an Oscar for the worst CGI effects. One example of a spoof that doesn't work on any level. 10 out of 10 just because of Michael J. Okay, that brother's riding meat. I'm not gonna lie. Meat Reiner. Ever since the release of Miss Castaway, no one knows where or what Brian is doing after this pathetic excuse for a movie. Or more accurately, um, I just don't care enough to do the research. After I witnessed the end of the movie, when an alien spaceship just randomly comes down filled with CGI dodo birds, and the supermodels just walk into the ship with no hesitation, this old man lost all my respect. The ship is random, the enemies are random, the story is random, the characters are random, everything about this movie is random and not in a good way. I at the very least hope by now Hollywood has at least learned their lesson. We don't need you to run things anymore. Let this be a reminder to you all that this organization will not tolerate failure. Uh, 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 uh. We're not done here just yet. Hey guys, do you like good music? Yes! Well, this will probably disappoint you heavily. However, as a gift from me to you for reaching 10,000 subscribers, I have created the very first Melly mixtape. Bipolar Dreams is now available on SoundCloud. So if you enjoy bare minimum lyrics on slightly above mediocre instrumentals, this is the EP for you. That, that's that's all I have. That's all I have to say, honestly. Um, yeah. L link in the description. <laughs>